do this, thank you for joining us. After Saturday's gotten result, we turn our heads to gym on Tuesday. How's the preparation been for that one? Wet. <laughs> Obviously, you catch me for once in my own stuff. Uh, no, it was good. Uh, we had a really good morning out on out on uh, grass again. Obviously, you can see we're down at Southwater, and they've been brilliant for us. Um, but yeah, the boys are in good spirits. Uh, I said to them this morning, we've got to be like a wounded animal. Um, we've obviously taken a little, taken a little bump on the nose, and uh, we've got to come back fighting. Um, we've had a really good record at home, um, but we know we're coming up against a team that, listen, themselves have, have not been going through a great period. But, but you know that at some point they're going to turn it around. Yeah, I suppose as you sort of touched on there, you've got to turn that sort of disappointment from Saturday into sort of a bit of you know grit and determination, don't you? Sort of use it to your own advantage for Tuesday. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think there was some. Ma uh, massive performances from our, from some individuals in our team, and I've, and I've told them that today. But, and I think there was a little bit of disappointment with Dom because he felt he felt like he was going to be on a bit of a goal trail on Saturday. But now we've got him. At, he's got two, I think, since he started. Um, so that's the, now he's really, really much more confident. And I think Nadas is the same. And I think Nico is picking up some excellent positions to to really get us playing in that, in that initial 40 minute period that I thought you saw the best of us and hopefully we're able to show uh, more of that going forward. When you first sort of started this period as interim manager, we were playing sort of the, some call it back to basics 4 4 2. We've adapted this now, we're back to what we saw last year when Nico was in the 10 and fronted by you know two excellent strikers. I can imagine for you it's really pleasing to be able to get all three of them on the pitch at the same time. Yeah, definitely. I mean, You've only got to look at sort of the bench and the boys that are being left out. Like we've got some excellent players who are not who are not out there at the minute, and, and I've got to give them like a shout out as well because of the standard of training um, and sort of the pressure they're putting on the boys that are playing. But at the moment, um, the boys that've got the shirt doing really really well. Um, you've got to look at sort of how threatening Nadas and Nico look. Uh, Dom the same. Uh, then you then you look and you've got the midfielders who are really controlling games at the minute, which is really good to see. I think Teddy's come in and been fantastic. Then obviously we we I try to have a bit of a settled back four, but obviously that's going to have to change again. Um, so listen, when you don't win a game, you obviously start to go over everything with a fine tooth comb, and, uh, and and the boys that are out of the squad have obviously done really well. So there's there's going to be opportunities there for them. Yeah, we've got a very impressive home record, especially in the last few games. But Gillingham are going to provide a really tough test, aren't they? You know, sort of you know they are lower than us in the league table, but not in a too similar position and. They're in need of some points as well. Yeah, definitely. They've got a great manager in Neil Harris, um, so we know that we're going to be coming up against a really good team. Um, he's obviously been really, 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 really. Um, listen, he's coming off the back of a fantastic management career, and uh, he's just going for a sticky patch. I know at some point he's going to try and break that, and hopefully it's not against us. We've got to go in there with with the know-how that we we know that we've, we're coming in with confidence and uh, an ability. And, uh, Definitely, players that want to play and, uh, and come to the come to the fore at the minute, and, uh, and that's what we're doing. And I think, like I said, you, you saw the best of us in those first forty minutes. But hopefully, we can trans transmit that into a ninety-minute performance tomorrow night, uh, which is going to be a really tough test. Um, fingers crossed, it's on the back of an England win and set, set, set ourselves up in in the World Cup, and, and we can sort of go away happy, sort of really um, ready for the game on Friday night. Yeah, as I mentioned, great home form. A lot of that has been down to the excellent support of the fans, I suppose. Messages just keep getting behind us because we mentioned after the game, fantastic sport, great numbers. And we're just hoping they're dead the same again. Yeah, definitely. They've been, listen, I can't say thanks enough on my, on my behalf, and, and the players will say the same. Like, they've been fantastic, especially for me since I've stepped across and been able to get this opportunity to, to lead at the minute. And um, yeah, they've been fantastic. But we, I think we're giving them something to cheer about. But also in those little moments when the game sort of goes dead, I hear them it's like that little drum going around, around, around the crowd and it sort of gets us over the line, especially in the last couple of weeks where we've, we've had to go back against the wall in certain aspects of, uh, and certain times in the game. But like they've helped us over that, that part and they've, they've become like a 12-man for us, but they've been like that ever since I've been at the club.